One of our reporters, Alyssa Curtis, um, she's following, um, yeah, as you see here, some, some Lake, flooding. Yeah. yeah, it looks like she's talking to people there who are Goodness. dealing with this. Uh, Alyssa, can you hear us? We see you standing there in some water there. It looks like you're in a home. I can hear you guys. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, we can. All right, so we are on Polk Street in Lakeview, and um, we rushed over here. We're just a few blocks from Canal, and uh, two blocks from Canal, and the residents here, um, Keith and Desiree, are just showing us the extent of the flooding of this house. Um, the basement is just absolutely flooded. I have Keith and Desiree with me here today. Um, Keith, I think you're, you're speaking with us today. What has been going on? Tell me just a little bit of like a timeline and explanation of the night. Um, yes, <clears throat> everything um, was under control as far as the street flooding <clears throat> until it looked like the, um, the eye wall, based on the last thing I could see on my phone before we lost um, electricity. Right when that eye wall was over us, and it started um, raining and, and the wind started blowing, you know, harder. Then um, I noticed <clears throat> that the water on the street started to come up and the manhole in front of the house started to pop off from the pressure. Um, and then, you know, shortly after that, um, I'd put up sandbags by the back door and um, put, put a, another um, barrier on the back door to try and block the water, but it, re it, it, it came up so fast, so high, that it just overtopped the sandbags and the, um, and the barrier that I put up, you know. So it, it just, it you know. It started seeping in. We tried to mitigate with towels and, you know, even scooping water into pots and whatnot. We're just in shock. We've done everything right. We have a sump pump we just put in. They just did a major, major, major drainage project outside. The guys were great who did the project. They, um, they just finished and they told us, oh yeah, this should help with flooding, you know? And we're, we're absolutely stunned that this has even happened again, again. We put in a sump pump, we had the generator, we, had, we did everything right. Well, once we lost um, electricity, <clears throat> then the sump pump, you know, had no power. Yeah. And, um, you know, and it, it seemed like the, the pumps on the streets stopped working because the water stopped obviously being being pulled down i'm gonna um ask uh my photographer robin to come down i'm gonna ask you guys to come with me so this is um just so we can show a little Please bit better yes so yes um we are in kind of like a lower level a little it's a bit street level it's a street level Slab. It's, it's, it's a slab. It's a slab, yes. So we're, I'm going to ask Robin to show, um, you can just kind of get all the water here. You can see that they tried to put uh, put the water in some pots to try to, to mitigate this. Well, and we've already uh, filled up the kitchen sink. We filled up the bathroom sink. We filled up the bathtub upstairs, a big clawfoot tub. We filled up the second bathtub. We were doing everything in our power just to bring the water level down. Well, it was kind of pointless. <laughs> yeah, this is um, at least an inch or more. Oh, no, it was up to it was up to the top of the baseboard. If you turn around and look, it was over, it was bottom over the bottom step. This entire downstairs wow. was up about eight inches. Six to eight inches. Six to eight inches are saying that this water here at uh, the street level of, of their home was at right now. And um, in a newly renovated house. We that's the other thing. They, this house. they just We're renovated it. And it looks beautiful, but now all of Thank this you. water in here is is not do, doing it justice at all. Um, you guys mentioned that there was some, some sewer water as oh, well. If you turn, if you come this way, turn right down that hall, go into the bathroom on the left, the shower was bubbling up, the toilet was bubbling up, and this entire, all of this water actually at this point is sewer water. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> I don't know if I would use that word to, to explain it, but yeah, this is not what you want to see, especially, um, like they said, in a newly renovated home. There's definitely... I um, have my husband's office. He works for the it's also inundated with water yeah as you can tell a very very frustrating situation here um, this is just just not good especially as a homeowner you you would hope that this 
level of flooding does not get to this point. Um, and now this is what, what they're left with, unfortunately. Again, we're on Polk Street in the Lakeview area, um, just off of Canal, Polk and Memphis. And we, we were outside and there was some street flooding, um, not just on this street, but around in the air, the whole area, the whole neighborhood. It seems like some of it has since gone down. Um, some of it in in the home has gone down according to the homeowners here they're saying again that it was up over the baseboards um they're estimating about eight inches um it has gone down thankfully but again this is now just standing water sitting water not going anywhere um they're saying there's sewer water in here as well they just renovated this home um not good so again we're, they want answers from sewerage and water board i know we've been trying to get answers from sewerage and water board um I we're, just at a, we're at a loss yeah. when you have homeowners who are doing everything right, everything in their power and everything right, and this happens again. So it, it's what flooded before. But we're expected to pay yeah. our taxes, Ida. our extreme flooded. high taxes on time. Mm -hmm. We're expected to pay our insurance, extreme insurance rates, and this is our reward. What are we to do as homeowners, any of us? Not just me, but across the city. What are we to do when you do everything right? What's left? No, you're exactly right. I can, I can sense the frustration. I understand the frustration. This is not what you want um, during, during a storm, during a hurricane. Um, again, there's right now an inch, an inch and a half of water, but they're saying it, it's gone down significantly, but I don't know if it's going down anymore, at least not right now. It looks right now to be a little bit of a standing water. You can see um, their, their furniture, they've tried to place their furniture on top of other furniture to kind of, it seems like save uh, what you can down exactly. here. Um, you know what? Sheetrock still has to be pulled up. Floors have to be, it, it's, a, it's a nightmare. Whether you have an inch of water or whether you have six inches of water, which is what we had, we had water topping that bottom step that leads into the kitchen. The renovation is the same. The mitigation is the same. Yeah, you guys, you can hear, I, I can sense the frustration. I'm sure um, anyone watching can sense the frustration and we can see why you guys are frustrated. This is again, just uh, not what you want. They just renovated this home and they, they have sandbags down. I'm looking at the sandbags and the towels and all the stuff to try and um, stop the, the, the water from, from coming in. And this is just not good. We pulled up all the towels. We had every towel that we owned in, on the floor trying to absorb the water. At some point, we realized that the, the weight of the towels was probably making the water level rise. So we wrung out the towels, threw them in the kitchen sink. It's, it's just another nightmare. Yeah, guys. Um... I, I'm in I'm in shock. Um, I know they're in shock. You can see there um, the mitigation efforts that they that they tried to to deploy here, and it doesn't seem to have worked. So um, I know they want answers um, of what they is want going on. So. On behalf of our of us, and behalf of everybody in the metropolitan area who's going through this same nightmare over and over and over again, we're sick of it. We're tired of it. And we need our government, our local government, to give us answers as to why this is happening. Do this. Why do we have to endure this every single time it rains? Yeah, guys, this is. Um, I, I'm in shock. Um, there, there's a lot of water here, so. Um, yeah, not just not a good a good situation here over on Polk Street. The street flooding um, again has seemed to to uh, be mitigated a little bit. It seems to have gone down. They're saying that it used to be a lake. Um, and yeah, now it, now it's going out a little bit. Now that we we opened the doors here and he he pulled the sandbags out. You you know sandbags you you, you kind of put the sandbags in to prevent the water from coming in and now they have to take the sandbags out to get the water out so it's a little bit of a of, of a backward situation here um from what you're really used to during a storm so um we yeah we need our city government to give us answers and we need answers right now
All right, we're gonna, I know I've been uh, reaching out to Sewerage and Water Board. I know uh, David Hammer, um, you guys were talking to, or um, I know Katie and uh, Devin were on the desk a little while ago and they were talking to uh, council member Helena Moreno about what, what's going on. So yeah, guys, this is just completely, I, he, he's been on the phone with us as well. I've been texting him. Um, so so yeah, guys, this is, this is just not good. Uh, residents definitely frustrated over here. I'm gonna send it back to you guys. Yeah.